What if I told you that in order for you to run, it was going to cost $35,000? For most of you, you might have to spend $60 on running shoes just to get moving and to run whenever you'd like, but for people like me, it's a different story. I would dream of being able to run and to live a life that I never thought I'd be able to have because when I lost my leg, I knew we couldn't afford it. The never ending hospital bills, the constant chemo, it was already enough. But when I got my first running blade from the Challenge Athlete Foundation, it felt like this part of me was complete and they gave me the power to do something with my life that I never thought I'd be able to. So shortly after, I started to become obsessed with pushing my limits and pushing myself to do things that people always told me was not going to be possible. Running, swimming, biking, or even beating stage four lung cancer. But as time went on, I realized there has to be change. So I wanted to bring awareness to others with their disability and how much that we have to spend as a community and to attempt something that people have always told me was not going to be possible. Running a marathon on crutches. One month from today, I will be running a marathon. Except I won't be running it. I'll be in crutches. Okay, so this is Max. Howdy. He's the only crazy guy that'd be willing to do this with me. Training for this marathon was essentially non-existent, with only 30 days to prepare for something that people normally take months or even years of training for. I wanted to see what my mind and body was truly capable of and to see how far I could push my limits. So if less than a week of training. This is day one. Day two. This is day three. It's day four. This is day five of training for a marathon on crutches. In a total of five miles under my belt. My hands are, my hands are definitely beating up. Oh I was ready for one of the most challenging moments of my life. The race is on Sunday in two days. This is gonna go extremely well. So currently at REI, we're doing last minute shopping. We're getting a little marathon kit. We have chewies, energy chews. Max has the yeah. energy Stinger chews. Shoes. He's gonna have to feed me while I'm crutching. <laughs> Let me show you how prepared people are and how prepared we are. <laughs> Stretching. So I got my legs swinging. <laughs> awesome what uh, the courage in your lungs and the strength in your legs can do for you. Welcome to the San Francisco Marathon. Mile one. Let's go. Mile two. Sir. Let's go. All five minutes, keep going. Oh man, goodness. How about that? Does that feel better? Oh. Yes, go! Oh, yeah, Alex! Sir. Yes sir! Good luck bro! After mile five, things really started to hurt. My hands were starting to blister, and they felt like they were being stabbed with each crutch that I took. No matter how much we bandaged it, or how thick my gloves were, they were in a lot of pain. Every time I went downhill, you're putting all of your weight into your hands, and you're moving for however many miles, and I just kept wanting to push forward. Hills started to feel like mountains, my body started to feel like a rock, but all I could tell myself was that it's just one day. One day of pain and I would be okay tomorrow. This is what you asked for, bro. Yeah, let's go. Ah! <laughs> I wanted to keep going until my body gave out or until I started bleeding or until I passed out, but I could only push past my limits so far and my mind and my body could only do so much. So by mile 14, it was just keeping my head down and keep moving forward until I physically could not move anymore. My hands are in so much pain. I don't know. I don't know how my hands look. I imagine they're probably bleeding. And if they are, you might have to call it. And I'm just I'm upset, I'm defeated. And I'm just, I don't know. I'm bummed. I don't know. I don't know what to do. With us being less than a mile from 27th Avenue, which is the 16th mile mark of the marathon, 
I asked my body for one last push to get there and for me to finally be done with my attempt of the marathon on crutches. I honestly never thought that I'd be able to run again or have access to these prosthetics that a lot of people don't even have access to and the fact that we all don't is really ridiculous. I don't, I honestly don't think, I, th I think it's very ridiculous that medical equipment or prosthetics costs so much money when it's just the basic necessities for life and I'm really hoping that we can bring awareness to that and hopefully bring some change to that in the future. Your guys' help the past month has honestly just meant the world. All the comments, all the love, all the support, you guys cheering me on during the race meant the absolute world to me. And with your guys' help, we've been able to raise $2,500 for the Challenge Athlete Foundation, so I can't thank you guys enough for just everything that you guys have done. I honestly didn't really know the outcome of this marathon. I honestly didn't think it was possible myself but all I could really think about is that it just takes that first step into being impossible and to realize that you're capable of so much more than you ever could have imagined.